Welcome to the Agent Program Initiate. I'll be waiting for you inside. Follow the lights, please. Majestic, isn't it? I'm Diana. I'll take you to your quarters. Someone likes to keep secrets. Secrets are our stock and trade. Besides, from what I hear, you have a few of your own. I'm not like you, in case you're wondering. I'm in the Handler program. Agents and handlers work in unity. You know the expression, know your enemy? Well, that part is my job. Knowing your enemy is only half the victory. I know. You also need to know yourself. I'm working on it. I read your case file. Impressive work. Partly textbook, but I suppose field work never is. Tell me, what did it feel like, taking lives? Random. Disordered. Is that why you came here? Why you let us test you? Maybe I'm not the only one being tested. Well, we are here. Basic training starts at 0600 hours. I should leave you to prepare. Are you sure about this? I am. There are no second chances, Miss Burnwood. Not here. I choose him. May I inquire why? A blank slate? Antisocial? Apathetic and unresponsive? No doubt the boy shows promise, but... Perhaps I see possibility where others see limitation. Isn't that what a handler does, sir? We'll see. Anyone can kill Miss Burnwood. He still remembers nothing? If he does, he's not sharing. We will check up on his story. The hospital in Romania. In the meantime, keep him under close watch. Welcome to Advanced Mission Training. This operation originally took place in Sydney. The target was Calvin Ritter, infamous cat burglar, also known as the Sparrow. You will need to infiltrate the yacht, isolate and eliminate your target and exfiltrate, all without arousing suspicion. And remember, as an ICA agent, you are the most dangerous person in any room. But blunt force will get you nowhere in this business. And a true assassin never calls attention to himself. Good luck, Initiate. As previous tests have established, you exhibit an unusual level of enhanced sensory perception. Use your instinct now to sense the position and movement of people around you, and identify your target. Excuse me, sir, but you're not on my list, so As I will suspected, have to ask you to kindly Security leave. won't allow you on board what in your current outfit. Says, we should avoid confrontation and look for another way in. Hmm, that mechanic is in your way. Sneak up and sub view him quietly. You put on his clothes. <laughs> That's a first. Might just work, though. People do tend to see uniforms, not faces. Be cautious, though. Some people are more observant than others. Not bad, initiate. Right. They won't find him anytime soon. This particular uniform should get you access through the staff entrance. Just Later, act normal. Hold on. That mechanic with his back turned? He's what we call an enforcer. He knows his crew and he'll see right through your disguise. So stay out of his line of sight. Right, now for the tricky part. Start by locating your target. Intel suggests he's around the bar area. You're in. Well done, Initiate. You don't waste any time, do you? Yeah, I suppose on a boat like this. That 
is your target, Mr. Ritter. Unfortunately, the place is crawling with witnesses. I suggest you follow him. See if you can't isolate him. Oh, oh, oh. No mechanics hmm. this way. To I'm sorry. Expected. Not my private call. deck That's is off limits for mechanics. If assimilation is the name of your game, you'll need a better disguise. <laughs> well, that's gonna leave a mark. Good thing we have insurance. Okay. Unlike mechanics, the cabin crew is allowed upstairs access. I see what you're getting at. Very unorthodox. I like it. A bit of a story. Here you are, Mr. Norfolk. Enjoy the party. I am. The target's private deck. Now we're getting somewhere. Broken ah. Ready but according to Intel, Ritter is another ready. enforcer who picks his own cabin crew. So tread carefully. Your food, why don't world has ever seen. Blending <laughs> in, I see. Well done, Initiate. This is the universe's way of telling you to quit, to get out of the game while you still can. The sparrow cannot die. You're not a superhero, Calvin. They don't exist. Well, not with that attitude, they don't. Mr. Norfolk, so good of you to fly down. Can I offer you a drink? Oh, no, thank you. No, uh, not before six. My wife is very insistent about that rule. My sympathies. So, excellent timing. I just had the computer set up in my office. Shall we? Yes, please, uh, lead the way. Nice impression. If we win, you can fix me a drink. Anyway, sounds like Ritter is about to have a private Hello, meeting sir. with the gentleman in white. This could be useful. Hmm. Clearly, Ritter doesn't want to be disturbed. I could have Try sneaking around the back. Wow, so you got the blueprints. Most impressive. People get what they pay for, Mr. Norfolk, and you paid for the best. Here, I'll pull the files for you. Not my usual scene technology. Most of my clients are art collectors. So what is it anyway, some type of reactor? Well, uh, not just a reactor, Mr. Ritter. It's more of Good a work. Revolution. Now we play the waiting game. 50 years ahead of its time, maybe even more, maybe 75 or 100. I, I don't mean to boast, but whoever makes it to market first with this reactor will become the king of... Well, I'm rooting for you. Now is your chance. No, Use your silent pistol or the mind. client will notice. Give me a second. It's just on the tip of my tongue. Maybe you're... Okay, then. You try that. Your target is down. Now head calmly towards an exit. Look at all those stupid snobs. The red car marks your exfiltration point. Simply push the button and you're in the clear. Advanced mission training complete. And may I say, elegantly done, Initiate. I guess my hunch was right about you. I look forward to the final test. How did you know? I told you he had talent. His stats are off the charts. Such skills and reflexes. They could only be the result of previous training. Power like that, with no moral restraint. He could be dangerous. I thought that was rather the point, sir. All agents have weak spots, Miss Burnwood. Pressure points to keep them in check. But this one... Perhaps it would be better to just... Give me a chance, sir. Give him a chance. I will take full responsibility. Very well. It's your show. 
Welcome back, Initiate. As an ICA agent, every challenge you face can be overcome in multiple ways. Complete this exercise again, this time attacking it from a different angle. Vary your strategy. Improvise. We will be watching. Broken too. I swear to God, Kalista, I think technology hates me. It's a sign, Calvin. You're the finest thief the world has ever seen, but things are changing. Back already? This is the Buddy, universe's way of telling you bad. to quit. Chew to your get food, out of the game you? while you still can. <laughs> this sparrow cannot die. You're not a superhero, Calvin. They don't exist. Well, not with that attitude, they don't. Folks, move it! What? Are you all right? Huh. <gasps> okay. Whatever. Again, great work initiate. This exercise is available for as long as you need. When you are ready to advance, you have only to let us know. I just got word. Romania was a dead end. You're saying that he lied? Place is real enough, deserted, but we found no trace that your man was ever there, or anyone else for that matter. Someone erased his steps. Hmm. We'll keep digging, of course. But frankly, it's as if the Earth just spat him out. Are you still determined? Does it matter? I was told there'd be no second chances. Don't believe everything you hear, Miss Burnwood. My decision stands. Very well. I'll be watching. 
the final test is based on an authentic 1979 mission, the high point of training director Soda's career as an active agent. The target was Jasper Knight, a famous US chess master exposed as a Soviet spy. Soda's caught up with Knight at a military airfield in Cuba and eliminated him against all odds. This will be your objective as well. Now listen carefully. ICA exams aren't normally this difficult. Not only was the airfield a virtual fortress, but he even added additional guards. Sodas wants you to fail. He considers you a threat, and this way, your unfortunate exit from the program won't raise any eyebrows. Well, if he thinks we're bowing out, he is sorely mistaken. Good luck, Initiate. We're putting a pasty-faced egghead inside a Mach 3 fighter jet. Yeah, I kind of think we do. <sighs> I get it, I get it. Safety first and all that. I don't care which one of you does it, it's mandatory. Just tick the box and get it done. So, Jasper Knight is leaving Cuba on a Soviet fighter jet. But first, he needs to test the jet's safety features. Huh. Say you could somehow tamper with the ejector seat mechanism. You could presumably get Knight to trigger his own demise. Hmm, that might just work. Huh? Yeah, I got a suspicious sound. Probably nothing, but uh, I'm gonna take a look anyway. says no wasn't part of the agreement. Night says Now to set the trap. The ejector seat mechanism has been disabled. You may need a tool to re-enable it. Well done, Initiate. I dare say this is an accident hey. waiting to happen. Mr. McCarry, what's up? Jesper Knight, we gotta go over the safety protocol. Follow me, please. Ugh. Oh, must we really? Is it dangerous? Well, it must be, mustn't it? Why else would there be a safety protocol? I'm not crazy about airplanes. Is it going to do that thing where it flips on its head? I don't like that one bit. Not one bit. Don't worry. You're in good hands. This way, please. Okay, Mr. Knight. Climb in the cockpit, please. Uh, all right. Easy. One, one step at a time. Step one, 
Strap yourself in. Uh, okay. All strapped in. Step two, locate the ejector seat handle. Step three, pull the ejector seat handle. Right. Here it goes. Pull. Target down. You did it. Now head towards an exit. Congratulations, Agent. You are cleared for field duty. I hope you know what you just did. The chopper leaves at dawn. Now get out of my sight. So what happens now? You go back into the world, disappear, stay on your own and on the move. When we need you, we will contact you. And so does. He played his hand, and he lost. He cannot touch us now. <laughs> Still, I can't believe we beat him at his own game. If you know your enemy. <laughs> Quite right. I should tell you, the trail went dead after Romania. Our team found no records of any kind, no name. Nothing. I think they called me 47. That's not a name. So make it one. All right. Agent 47. Good evening, 47. Your destination is the Paris Fashion Show by Sanguin, one of Europe's leading couture brands. Your targets are Sanguin owner Viktor Novikov, a former oligarch turned fashion mogul, and his partner Dahlia Margolis, a retired supermodel, an iconic power couple on the global fashion scene, and two of the most dangerous people in the world. Novikov and Margolis are in fact the ringleaders of Iago, 
an enigmatic spy ring that deals in the global elite's most valuable secrets. Unscrupulous and opportunistic, Iago has caused disastrous security leaks all over the globe. When Crimean separatists caused a deadly meltdown at the Odessa nuclear power plant, Iago gave them access to the plant security network. And when the Delgado drug cartel shot down the plane of President Hernandez and his family, Iago provided the classified flight plans. Now Novikov and Mogolis have obtained a knock list of British undercover agents, which they plan to sell at a secret Iago auction during the Sanguine show. So our client, MI6, need us to stop the ringleaders before the knock list ends up in the wrong hands. The Sanguine show will be swarming with security, and Viktor Novikov will be the focus of everyone's attention. But despite his posturing, he is merely the money man. The real target is Dahlia Mogolis. Beautiful and brilliant, she is a master manipulator and the true brains behind Iago. Two targets, a highly public event. At first glance, an impossible task. Then again, I do know how you love a challenge. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Paris 47. The show is just about to start. This is the red carpet event of the season and the guest list is a veritable who's who of the global fashion elite. You will find Viktor Novikov basking in the spotlight, while Dalia Margolis hosts the heavily guarded auction on the second floor for a group of Iago's top customers. Now, event security will keep a watchful eye on any suspicious activity, but I trust your timeless look shall fit right in. Good luck, 47. Step right in, sir. Enjoy your evening. That is Viktor Novikov, head of Sanguine and ringleader of Iago. Quite the resume. A pleasure, as always. But make sure to join Dahlia and I for a drink later. There's someone we would like to meet. I wish I had that job. Stop, you look fine. I know I look fine, but he's like a like a Greek god or something, you know? I can't believe he's actually here, you know? Like in the same room as us. Helmut Kruger's been my role model since college. Well, so, if he kisses your hand, will you ever wash it again? Yeah, yeah, I saw you blush earlier when you put on his makeup. Oh. According to our intel, Helmut Kruger is friendly with Dahlia Margolis. I suspect that Iago uses fashion models to infiltrate the lives of the rich and powerful, and Kruger is likely one of their spies. His face paint conveniently obscures his features, and the two of you already share a striking resemblance. Well, what can I say? I'm human. Oh, wow. Speaking of, that guy looks a lot like Helmut Kruger. Huh. Yeah. Uncanny. Certainly. I'll write this one. a bare knuckle boxer. A what? The sanguine boss, Novikov. He asked if I could make him one. Oh, that. Yeah, shit. I forgot. It's a cocktail, his favorite, apparently. The palace owner, Mr. Laren, left us the recipe, but I think I left it down in the basement. I was gonna copy it out and laminate it, but, you know. According to staff, Viktor Novikov's favorite drink is a rather obscure cocktail known as a bare knuckle boxer. 
The recipe, however, has been misplaced in the basement. Sounds like a chance opportunity to get on Novikov's good side. Eh, yeah, whatever, who cares? Booze is booze, right? Nah, I should really go look for it. Man pays our way. Lie down. Uh, you don't look too hot. to find Dahlia Margolis. Love it? No, love it? Oh, oh, that's perfect. Okay, now if you could just... Oh, yes, you read my mind, Helmut. Okay. Oh, outstanding. on a few details. Fine, I'll, I'll be up after the show. Y yes, ciao. <sighs> Hope you know what you're doing, Helmut. Yeah, Dan, it's me. Oh, uh, you're watching the live feed. No, not anytime soon. Actually, I'm... I'm doing this thing for Dahlia Margolis. It might take a while. Don't ask.
Hey, those tables won't wait themselves. Dahlia, helmet here. Remind me again. Where were you supposed to meet? Second floor. Voltaire suite, next to the auction. Got it. You want me to drop by now, or...? No. No, it's essential that you walk the runway. Do the job, then come see me right away. Mr. Kruger, need a touch-up, I see. No problem, just sit back and relax. We'll take a second. Appreciate it. Bodyguards. Okay? Calm. Access to the auction and a private audience with Dahlia Margolis. Nicely done, 47. Please, have a seat. So, Helmut, you accept my offer? I'm in. What's the job? Straight to the point. I like it. As it happens, I have the perfect assignment for you. Jessica Highmore. Highmore Consulting. The very same. That's why I wanted you in the show. So Jessica would notice you. Now, I want you to go to New York. Seek out Jessica and do what you do best. The girl is bright, young, beautiful, and should be right up your alley. And yet she's not the mark. My, you do catch on fast. No, that would be her father, CEO John Highmore. Jessica is your way in. Befriend him, get his trust. Highmore Consulting is planning a merger. I want to know with whom and at what price. All right, consider it done. And that's for you. Keep it on you at all times. Mm, last resort. Cyanide, good choice. <sighs> We've got trouble. It's a little late now, isn't it? No, no, I'm gonna deal with this immediately. Selena's a big girl. She knew what she was getting into. Put a detail on her, and if she shows signs of cracking, pull her out. Fine, we'll talk later. Sorry about that, Helmut. So, a toast. To a fruitful collaboration. Here, here. Ah! Ah! Oh! 
Both targets are down. Great work. Now head towards an exit. How was Moscow? Kamarov is gone. I set him up as a Langley spy. It's quite the scandal at the FSB. His death will not be investigated. Your turn. Very well. The secrets of the global elite. Five years of work. Everything we've collected. This thing makes WikiLeaks look like a gossip rag. The pen beats the sword, huh? I have found that whoever wields the sword decides who holds the pen. Smile, Victor. Your reputation is safe. Now run along. I'm sure you have pretty dresses to attend to. Victor, good luck with the show. I have a feeling it's going to be the one you'll be remembered for. Good morning, 47. Your destination is the coastal town of Sapienza, also known as the jewel of the Amalfi Coast. Your target is a former client of ours, Silvio Caruso, a brilliant but troubled bioengineer employed by the Ether Biotech Corporation. Renowned for his early stem cell research, Caruso is now reportedly working on a far more disturbing project, a DNA-specific virus able to infect anyone, anywhere in the world. Imagine a bullet fired in any direction, passing through countless bodies without inflicting harm, invisible and undetectable until it strikes its target. A world of armchair assassins killing with impunity. This is what awaits us, unless Caruso is stopped. Our client, one of Ether's major private stockholders, wants the project cancelled on ethical grounds, but without destroying the company in the process. She has asked us to eliminate Silvio Caruso and destroy the yet unfinished virus prototype. You will also need to deal with Caruso's lab head, Francesca DeSantis, a high-level Ether employee and cutthroat corporate climber who holds intimate knowledge of Caruso's research and could potentially carry on in his place. This is no ordinary contract, 47. Caruso's virus is a serious threat to our craft and trade, not to mention our core ideals. So failure is not an option. I'll leave you to prepare. Welcome to Sapienza 47. Silvio Caruso's family home is right across the square. The bioengineer suffers from acute travel phobia so the Ether Corporation has installed a state-of-the-art field laboratory somewhere below ground. Expect security levels to rise as you get closer to the virus. Good luck, 47. Hey, buddy. You didn't tell me your cousin was back in town. 
Ah, do I detect a certain attraction to the dashing private detective from Milan? Oh, what of it? He's cute. Actually, uh, well, I really shouldn't tell you this, but he's here about a case. The client is Francesca DeSantis. You know, the, the female doctor that's staying at uh, Villa Caruso. Really? Wonder what she wants with a snoop. Well, y you didn't hear it from me, okay? Where'd you see him, anyway? Couple of streets over, sleeping on a bench. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's Sal for you. Always was a Nighthawk. According to our research, Sal Falcone, a private investigator from Milan, has performed services for Silvio Caruso in the past. The question is, does Falcone still work for Caruso, or does DeSantis have an agenda of her own? Only one way to find out. Throw things around, find a garbage can. Oh, oh. wow. Oh. Mr. Santis, Sal Falcone. Great. Sorry for the delay. I needed uh, to uh, tie up some few loose ends. Yeah, yeah, I just got into town. Down at the pier? Sure. Straight away? All right, no time like the present. Um, see you in a bit. Sexy voice. Hey, it's Sal. Well, uh, what did I tell you, Curly? Once a cheat, always a cheat. Trust me, Curly, there is nothing I would like to do more than follow your wife around town again but you know I'm, I'm on a case down in Sapienza uh, di didn't Marlena in reception tell you ah Christ you know what do I pay her for anyway uh, I got a split curly I'm waiting for an address here look I'll give you word when uh, when I get back you know we'll, we'll shoot some pool get you back on your feet all right Curly, you human punching bag. Is Francesca DeSantis. How are you, sir? Good thinking, 47. This is one time the dame won't fool the detective. Ah, Mr. Falcone. Looking slightly out of place. So, uh, what's this about? Oh, walk with me. This is all too public for my tastes. This is far enough. Mr. Falcone, what I am about to ask you might be highly unorthodox. Go on. About a month ago, Silvio Caruso hired you for an acquisition job. I need to know what exactly it was you acquired and why. I'm afraid I can't do that. P.I. Confidentiality. Uh, I, I am willing to pay you handsomely. You could retire, hire others to dig through garbage. Don't think so. I like to get my hands dirty. <sighs> if you wanted to claim the moral high ground, you could have done so over the phone. Saved us both a trip. If you change your mind, you know where to find me.
That is Silvio hey, Caruso. I have a few minutes to spare, Alberto. Why don't we practice? Service group. Yeah, let's do your move. Hey, this is not bad. Definitely improved. Where are you? And just remember, backswing starts with the rotation, not with the hand. Body rotates with the arm. Simply follow. And the hands maintain the same grip pressure throughout. Grip pressure. Roberto, what do you think of Miss DeSantis, the woman who runs my lab? She is a striking woman, to be sure, Mr. Russo. Uh, we've only talked briefly, of course. Uh, I'm sure you haven't done much talking. Mr. Caruso, sir, I don't know what you've heard, but I can assure you. It, it's fine. You're young. Young men have me. I wouldn't want to get in the way. Nature. I must get back. We can pick this up later. I believe I'm getting the hang of it. Now destroy the virus. Please, you need to leave now. It's for your own safety.
prototype will be close by. Look for some type of quarantine unit. So this is where Ms. DeSantis keeps all the research data. Keeps this stuff pretty close to her chest. Why? We all signed an NDA the size of a phone. Yeah, well, there we Dangerous compound. Warning, dangerous compound. Processing. Securities in the dark about the incident. A few at the company knew about the virus. Not even the board. Must have been someone at the lab. <sighs> I understand. I'll get to the bottom of this. <sighs> Boss is unhappy. I followed you from Italy. I guess when you're invisible, you stop looking over your shoulder. You did this. Iago exposed you. I see I did the heavy lifting. I just pulled some strings. Yeah, you mind. How do you expect... I play dirty. That's how you defeat a stronger opponent. 
You strike from behind. Now give me the key. You have a family? Trust me, if there's a weakness, Providence will find it. I'll take my chances. The key. Fine. Won't do you much good. It's funny. Cobb said the same thing. Thank you, messenger. Don't. I just killed you. Then we're even. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zedan, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. Whoever you are.
You made it. Most I impressive you, soldier. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. According to the appointment schedule, Klaus Strandberg has booked a massage to relieve his back pains. No doubt all that time in prison has caused muscle stiffness. The masseur, who works at a local clinic, has apparently already checked into the building. Massage expert Connie Angstrom reported at the reception desk. That was Connie Angstrom. Please go to the reception desk. It is not fair. It is. It isn't. You can't keep me in here under these circumstances. If I had known... Well, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one supposed to be doing deep tissue massage in a freaking war zone. Okay. It is huh. that bad, Donald. Believe me. Yeah, no, I think do I not heard put something. me on hold. Might be a false alarm, but uh, I'll check it out just in case. <sighs> I could go for a smoke. Connie Engstrom, Monsieur, here for an appointment with Klaus Strandberg. Ah, uh, Mr. Engstrom. Please proceed to the massage room. It's upstairs on the right. I'll inform Mr. Strandberg. Klaus Strandberg, go to the massage room. Your session awaits. I repeat, Klaus Strandberg, please go to the massage room. Sorry, bud. Uh, I'm gonna have to frisk you. Uh, don't worry, okay? Uh, this is gonna be over in a second, so... <laughs> Thanks. You can go through. Ah, so, the man with the golden touch. Let's get started. Shall we? Ah, oh, this muscle tension is killing me. Why don't you lie down, Mr. Strandberg? Oh, please. Call me Klaus. Well done, 47. I will leave Strandberg in your capable hands. Ah, that's the ticket. I tell you, nothing makes you tense like thousands of people wanting to kill you. <laughs> Hell, people are funny. The fact is, if those morons had bothered to learn the first thing about market investments, my scheme would never have worked. Greed and ignorance, my friend. Those are the cornerstones to any good con. But you see, easy money, that's all people care about. So they can drive their ridiculous urban SUVs and drink wine on a Thursday, on a Tuesday, whatever, and tell each other how they've made it. It's pathetic. I own a private jet. I made it. But tell you what. Get down. Next up, Razor Zaydan. Whatever, man. You're not 
walking through here. No way. Please leave. His brother was one of the policemen who got killed when the Mercs attacked Strandberg's prison transport this morning. So he, uh, got cold feet, tried to blow the lid on the whole operation. Uh, not smart. But, uh, pretty human. I'm just glad I wasn't picked for the firing squad. I hear you. According to the soldiers, the condemned prisoner in the cell was a close friend of Zaydan. However, when his brother, a Marrakesh police officer, was killed during Strandberg's breakout, the prisoner decided to betray Zaydan and go public. Alas, he was caught before he could thwart the coup d'etat. Now to locate General Zaydan. Only the best men. You know it. Still on guard duty, huh? Yep. Hey, mind if I take a swing at the lousy rat? Eh, nah, no can do. Only officers are allowed in. Zayden's orders. Don't know. Maybe he thinks treachery is contagious. Haha, <laughs> maybe. Dismissed. General Satan's order. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. This bastard thinks he can get away with this. God. Dan won't expect resistance from a tied up prisoner.
Time to decide. What should I do? But don't tell me you're sleeping, Side. There's plenty of time for that, I'm sure. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. Compromised, but I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But... This plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. Hi, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern, and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. How much was there? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fannin. Information on all of our assets and operatives. Like you. Dig a trench, Director. And make it a deep one. Because none of you are safe anymore. Morning 47. Your destination is the Himapan Luxury Hotel Resort on the Chow Praia River just outside Bangkok. Your main target is Jordan Cross, the lead singer of The Class, a renowned indie rock outfit recording their highly anticipated sophomore album. But this millennial poster boy harbors a dark secret. One year ago, promising young actress Hannah Highmore fell to her death from Cross's penthouse loft in Dumbo, New York. According to the police, Miss Highmore's death was a tragic accident, but her parents remain unconvinced. They firmly believe that Cross murdered Hannah and only escaped justice due to the power and influence of his father, billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross. A secondary target, Ken Morgan, corporate fixer and attorney to the Cross family, is also staying at the hotel. Cunning and unscrupulous, Morgan was a key agent in the cover-up of Hannah Highmore's murder and Jordan Cross's subsequent acquittal. The Highmores understandably want retribution, and while the system may be powerless, ICA is anything but. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Bangkok 47. Ken Morgan has booked the Queen Suite, but has yet to check in. You will find him in and around the restaurant. Oddly enough, Jordan Cross seems completely unaware of his presence. Cross and the class have set up a recording studio in the Emperor's Suite on the third floor. Private security around Cross and his entourage is highly capable. Still, I'm sure you can find your way into his inner circle. After all, today is Jordan Cross's 27th birthday. The age when rock stars die. Good luck, 47. Welcome to the hill.
checking in. Name's Tobias Reaper. Thank you so much, sir. Here's your key card. Welcome to the Himapan Hotel. Welcome to the Himapan Hotel. Please follow me. I hope you'll enjoy your stay. Lead the way. Sir, please. This way. This is your room, sir. I hope it's to your liking. But please, don't hesitate to let us know if there's anything you need. There's a problem with the toilet. Take care of it. Now. you don't want to ride home. It's not about that. There's this guest, big shot lawyer fella up in the Queen Suite. He's offered to buy it, this, this piece of crap for like an obscene amount of money. I just gotta get the engine running. A guest wants to buy your crummy old tuk-tuk. <laughs> Tourists, right? <laughs> they just love authenticity. I don't know, the guy wants to use it as a golf cart at his Hampton Country Club or whatever. <laughs> According to the hotel gardener, Ken Morgan wants to purchase his aging tuk-tuk as a souvenir. Unfortunately for him, he can't get the engine working. Well, you're good at fixing things, 47. I suggest you give the gardener a helping hand. This could be excellent bait. My guess, man. His folly is my game. <laughs> no kidding. Well... <laughs> I guess I can stick around for a bit. You know, for moral support. Hey, Hello? This ain't funny. Show 47. It's time to close the deal. And now to deliver Mr. Morgan the good news. <laughs> Anything stronger than wine here? Did you manage to fix the engine? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> she spins like a kit. All right, lead the way. All right, uh, there she is. <laughs> uh, uh, go ahead, Mr. Morgan. Uh, please, uh, you do the honor. Target down. Now on to Jordan Cross. So, I want to get that package for Wes, but reception says one of our guys picked it up an hour ago. Eh, uh, must have been Julian. <laughs> yeah, he's with that actress again, Jackie Carrington. Saw him sneak up to her room earlier, lucky bastard. Damn it! 
I was kind of hoping the package had gotten lost. I mean, I know West Liston is a sucker for all things vintage, but Branson MD2. Huh? Says it's the best vocal mic of the 60s. And the deadliest. An MD2 electrocuted Fab Chamberlain on stage at Glastonbury. The model was taken off the market, for Christ's sake. So, producer Wes Liston has ordered a vintage Branson MD2 vocal mic. This rare model was removed from the market in the 1960s after causing a number of electric shock fatalities. Apparently, a production defect makes the MD2 short circuit at high voltages. Sounds promising. I suggest you track down the crewman who picked up the microphone. According to his colleagues, this Julian is romantically involved with Jackie Carrington, a former sitcom star who stays in room 207. Yeah, I really don't like to put these lips to that thing. Too much voltage turns the MD2 into a death trap. It's happened before it'll happen again. And let's not forget, Jordan is turning 27. Hey, I'm not the one you need to convince, Grandma. My tea was lukewarm. Wait a minute. So that's where you're hiding. You think you can sneak away from me? Uh, no. No, wait, that's not a problem. that Branson MD2 mic you ordered. Sweet. Swap it for the one in the booth, yeah? Can't wait to test this baby out. Uh, Wes bought a Branson MD2? Yep. Also known as Old Sparky. Almost bankrupted Branson Tech back in the day. Yeah, well, why would Wes want to use a mic with a notorious production error? Wes is uncompromising. Always chasing that perfect sound. He once spent six days tweaking the spring reverb for Noel Wagner's Rickenbacker until Noel had enough. Volvo threatened to shoot anyone from the record company who entered before the mix was just right. Okay, gentlemen, I'm gonna have to get back to it, shall we? Just don't crank the voltage. All right, well, let's keep that in mind. Like it, Wes? Great sound, Hardy. I dig the effects. Keep exploring. Okay. Ready? Uh, what's up that beep? I'm running. Good show, mate. One step down, three more to go. Man has talent! Two batches down, halfway there. Hey, hey, what's going on? You can do better. Yeah, 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 it's all coming together. Keep at it, mate. Nicely Stop. done, 47. With a little more it. adjustment, it, this should make Bloody for an well electrifying done. performance. Hey, someone get Jordan in here. This is right up his alley. Hey, Jordan! Feast your ears on this! Hey, wh hey, what's this? Oh, mix sounds awesome now, Wes! That is right, Jordan yeah, Cross, revered and reviled in equal measures. Strings with the nanocoating lying around. Ready? Hey, this doesn't sound right. I'm running. Give it up for the crew.
Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. stripped clean within hours of the kidnapping. Someone wanted the son dead to lure out the father. Someone smart enough to stay in the shadows while we did the wet work and the High Moors picked up the check. A shadow client. Someone got rich. The contract was just. That was a sound problem. I know you don't care about politics, 47. But ICA is neutral, or as has been. Can't allow ourselves to be manipulated. Besides... It's happened before. Italy. Morocco. Paris. All our clients got their intel the same way. Anonymous tips from a hidden source. Each contract perfectly legit, yet part of a grander design. see the pattern. Somebody does. The board has asked us to chase down this shadow client, and our analysts are closing in as we speak. I know that tone. Someone's playing a game, 47. The question is, against whom? on the shadow client. ICA White Hats have traced the anonymous data received by our clients to one Olivia Hall, brilliant young hacktivist and suspect in a dozen cases of cyber vandalism. Using onion routing with state-of-the-art encryption, Hall went to a lot of trouble to stay untraceable. She is good, but we are better. Her digital trail has led us to a remote farm in Colorado, where satellite footage has revealed what appears to be the training camp for a private militia, led by an already registered target, Sean Rose, Australian environmental terrorist and explosives expert wanted for a series of public bombings. Rose was spotted near the scene of Thomas Cross's kidnapping, which makes him our prime suspect for the shadow client. Spurred by Eric Soders, the ICA board of directors has asked us to infiltrate the farm and eliminate Sean Rose, along with three other prominent militia members. Ezra Berg, retired Mossad interrogator. Penelope Graves, former Interpol anti-terror analyst, and finally, Maya Parvati, former assassin and gun runner for the Tamil Tigers. I'll be honest with you, 47. I consider Eric Soda's reasoning hasty and ill-advised. Now, we cannot go against the wishes of the board, but we can conduct our own investigation. Whether a direct threat to the ICA or not, we need to know the Shadow Client's true agenda. I will leave you to prepare. 
Welcome to Colorado, 47. The militia has taken up HQ at an old apricot farm and appear to be training for a series of coordinated strikes, ranging from cyber attacks to full-blown guerrilla warfare. The Shadow Client appears to unite specialists and radicals from all over the map. Mercenaries and terrorists, hackers and spies joined by an unknown common cause. Satellite scans indicate that the command room is below ground inside an old tornado shelter. Only Rose appears to have access, however, so to get inside, you will need to get creative. This environment is hostile and highly alert, so tread carefully. Good luck, 47. security station watching the feeds, there's this creepy guy interrogating the hostage. He wears like a 3D printed mask. Oh yeah, that must be Berg. Oh yeah, man, his interrogation techniques, totally just out of the box stuff. Like truth serums, drugs, that kind of thing. But uh, none of the rough stuff. Now they don't like to mark up their patients, so to speak. Those Mossad boys like things clean and efficient. Berg? Ezra Berg? Yeah. Yeah, man, I've heard of him. Chemical interrogation expert. I guess it's his makeshift lab they've set up. Word is he can make anyone crack. Oh, man, you don't know the half of I mean, the, the stuff this guy's into, get this. Drug-induced hypnosis, memory wipes, subliminal mind control. Shit's like witchcraft. Ezra Berg, legendary Mossad operative who specializes in chemical interrogation techniques, is here at the compound to interrogate a prisoner. My notes indicate he's set up a makeshift drug lab in a garage, and it looks like he's spending a lot of his time in the basement. Could be an opportunity there, 47. Christ, this next-gen warfare makes my head spin. You know, just point me in a direction and tell me who to shoot at. Fire in the hole. That is Sean Rose, terrorist turned insurgent. Fascinating. According to the blueprint, Sean Rose is building an explosive battery unit for a Link 4 smartwatch. The charge appears to be email triggered. The unassuming target checks his messages, the virus triggers the charge, and boom. Very clever, not to mention devious. The resident hackers have installed the software trigger on one of their phones, and here is the punchline. Rose himself wears a Link 4. Saturday, the Hitman, champion of the world, versus the ever evil Spec Ops number one. Who will win in the cage of death? Chairs, two by fours, and broken glass allowed. No rules, no rules. We have light. Point man in the Mexico operation? Huh. Got clipped by a ram or something? The team trains with a battering ram to simulate the attack on Secretary Torres' motorcade. I don't know. I guess old Burgess had his head up his ass. Nine out of ten accidents happen in the home. They do say that. Anyway, the guy was lucky. Sprained his ankle, that's all. He'll be back in a couple. So does uh, Rose still supervise the training? Sure. Why? Well, if we ever want to get rid of Rose without the boss knowing, I guess uh, Burgess just taught I us how. Huh. It's I like your thinking. 
murderous death Tell A battering ram has injured one of the strike team, point man by the name of Burgess, and according to those militiamen, Maya Parvati oversees training. Sounds promising. I suggest you infiltrate the strike team 47. Perhaps you can relieve the hapless point man of his duties. Body, eh, man? It'll make her day. I don't think I can hold this down for long. You need to back off now. I just found out that Parvati was a Tamil tiger. That is Maya Parvati, Sri Lankan assassin turned pirate, turned insurgent. I'm back. Well, well, our very own punching bag. Any broken bones? Wounded pride, that's all. Good to hear. All right, head over to the briefing area. We'll resume in a moment. Oh, you were at Jordan Cross's funeral, huh? Uh, it was a thing Rose, of beauty. Parvati. Oh, expect you all to know this by heart. But in case amnesia has set in, here's the sequence. Advance to the car with haste. Eliminate the passengers. Retrieve the briefcase. Extract. Got that? And remember, speed and accuracy is the name of the game. All right. Now go pick up your weapons and get in position. Move out. Parvati, please proceed. Pretend I'm not here. Not a problem. All right, let's go again. On your marks, ready, set, execute. Get the documents and extract. Weapons release on my command. Go! Come on, do this! <laughs> was passable. Good speed and accuracy, but coordination needs to improve. The point is to build up muscle memory. A perfect sequence of synchronized motion. You need to be able to pull this off sleep. Parvati won't know what hit her. Maya Parvati is down. Good work.
So this test that Rose has planned seems kind of cruel, doesn't it? I mean, I'm no softy or anything, but it feels excessive to me. She's got it coming. And nobody can switch sides like Graves and, and just expect to be accepted. Tests are in order, man. Yeah, sure, I get that. But playing on her past with Interpol like that? I... I don't know, man. But I just hope the technician knows how to act. She used to be the enemy. I, I don't have any sympathy for that. I'm sure he'll be fine. He's got the badge, right? Yeah, he showed it to me over by the tent. Rehearsed his lines, too. He's taking this pretty seriously. Should be in the clear. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see if she takes the hook. And not to mention how far she'll go. You think she'll order us to be removed? If she does, I got a 45 cal with her initials on it. I... Penelope Graves is still new to this outfit, and it looks like Rose is going to test her dedication to the cause. He's arranged for one of the communications technicians to act as an outside agent. The tech is supposed to show her an Interpol badge and escort her to the slurry pit, asking her to betray the militia. Might I suggest a last minute recasting, 47? Yeah, yeah. So you're all set for the sting? Sure. Got a badge in my pocket, prep my lines. Shouldn't be a problem. Almost game time. Um, you, uh, think you can hook her? Graves is new. She comes by every two seconds to check on her work. She's paranoid enough to bite. So Rose basically wants you to pretend you're with Interpol, uh, get her to come with you, uh, and then what? I'm supposed to lure her to the slurry pit and tell her to roll over on Rose and the rest of us. Try to get her to turn on us. Be interesting to see how she reacts. Is she going to ask the guys there to shoot me, or will she give up everything? Yeah, it's a big decision. What if she takes the bait? Well, then Rose is going to find her and kick her ass, I imagine. Again, the bloody Russians had your best satellite. All right. And you're on, baby. Buddy, we need to talk. You're... Uh... What is this? I'll explain everything at the slurry pit. It will be in your best interest to do as I say. I understand. I'll see you there. That is Ezra Berg, sure former Mossad interrogator. His services are in demand at the moment. Miss Graves. You are being recruited back into Interpol as an insider. What? I... Who are you anyway? How did you find me? That is not important. Think about this carefully. You can provide us with valuable intel. If you cooperate, the agency will overlook your unfortunate transgression. We don't want any... And what if I refuse, huh? If I scream and get the guards here? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Might prove unhealthy. I'll give you a few moments to think about it. Good work, 47. This should give her something to think about. Okay, can you just leave me alone for a few minutes? I've got some thinking to do. I'm sure Rose won't mind. Graves, how did they get to you? Flight out of Lyon under assumed name. Passport provided through Delgado and that vanisher guy. I mean, it looked clean. Changed clothes at JFK and again at Denver International. Charred the passport after. <gasps> oh. Graves is down. 
Excellent work, 47. So you're saying that thing made Ezra Berg's interrogation mask? That's what it does. Hmm. It's a 3D printer. Should check if the old thing's running slow. No. Still right on the tick. Hmm. Impressive for an antique. One through 12. It looks good. Still keeping perfect time. Gotta admire that engineering. Check it out. Come on, go. Give me the Mexican bands. Excellent, 47. I dare say Rose is about to get a taste of his own medicine. They'll probably wait until the last second. Okay, everyone step back. Fire in the hole. Email. Boom? What? Sean Rose confirmed down. Nicely done, 47. Red leader. Area is clear. Moving on to the next location, over. So if we had someone we had to pacify, would you... Oh, you're back. Great. So, listen, I've been thinking... Maybe the dosage is just wrong. Did, did you check? I appreciate you. I checked the dosage. It was the first thing I did. Of course you did. I'm so dumb.
Well done, 47. With any luck, the perfectionist Ezra Berg will want to examine his notes closely to figure out what happened. I'll need to check my numbers. Ezra Berg has been eliminated. Good work, 47. Forty-seven. It appears the door to the tornado shelter is protected by a biometric lock. To gain access, you need Sean Rose's body, or something equally convincing. and better. Everything seems fine. Thickens. Someone left in a hurry. Sean Rose was not the Shadow Client. That much is clear. Whoever commands the militia, they got out just in time. Look around, 47. We're getting closer. Someone's done their homework. Look how far it dates back. Hayamoto, Beldingford, Delvade. The Shadow Client has been tracking you for decades. Now how is that possible? It isn't. Every one of those missions were branded as unsolved or accidents. He must have been looking for a pattern, a certain M.O., which would mean... He knows me. Well, at least this shortens the list. Some kind of network. Power players. From all sectors. Familiar faces, too. Thomas Cross. Klaus Strandberg. Ether. And that's missing banker Eugene Cobb. Well, well. There's a name. Providence. What? No. No, it can't be. The Hidden Hand. Thought they were a myth. A hypothesis, nothing more. The idea that a small cabal of kingmakers, controlling enough corporate and political leaders, could effectively run the world in secret. Maybe not so hypothetical. Keep looking, 47. We need full disclosure. Found something. So it is. But that would mean... Providence has infiltrated ICA. And Eric Sodas is their operative. Bastard! It all fits! He was the one who persuaded the rest of the ICA board to greenlight this operation. This changes everything. Get out, 47. We got what we came for. What about the Shadow Client? He is no longer our primary concern. ICA has been compromised. I always wondered if Providence was real, but I never actually... I will need to confer with the board, but mark my words, 47. This will have consequences.
Rose is gone. It was me, wasn't it? They tracked me. I don't believe it. I took every precaution. Rose knew the risks. They all do. You did well, Olivia. I am proud of you. Now listen. The ICA knows about you. They kept you alive because they needed you, and now they don't. We won't talk again. Not until the storm is over. I don't like it. This man you know what he's capable of. You need to end this now. I ran away as a boy. My friend and I, away from that place. We came upon a small farming community. The people were dirt poor, but this woman, she took us in. We were awakened the next morning by the shots. A dozen people lay face down in the snow. Our warden didn't like to leave witnesses. They shot the woman and her family last. They made sure that we watched the whole thing. This is your gift, the warden told us. Your gift and your curse. Touching lives only by ending them. You know him. Better than anyone. Good morning, 47. The board has sanctioned Eric Soders for termination. After Colorado, we did some digging into Soders' private affairs and discovered that he has been fast-tracked for critical heart surgery at the hyper-exclusive Gama Private Hospital in Hokkaido, Japan. Such a display of power has providence written all over it. Soders, who suffers from a rare condition known as situs inversus, where his internal organs are reversed, desperately needs a right-sided heart transplant and has clearly betrayed the ICA to get it. He was admitted last night and is currently being prepped for a three-day surgery. We have booked you into Gama under the usual guise of Tobias Reaper, corporate shark, here for a standard medical checkup. As such, you will need to play it by ear and procure whatever tools you need to complete the mission. You also need to eliminate Yuki Yamazaki, a Tokyo lawyer who works for Providence. Sodas has already given Yamazaki access to our client records and has agreed to provide a full list of active ICA operatives post-operation. This transaction cannot be allowed to happen. Sodas must pay for his treachery and his insidious employers must be taught a lesson. ICA's sovereignty is at stake. Powerful as Providence may be, we need to draw a line in the sand. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Hokkaido 47. The Gama Private Hospital provides cutting edge medical treatment for the global elite outside the law if required. The facility is partially run by an artificial intelligence system known as Kai. The AI oversees patient admission to various areas in the hospital and even participates in some medical procedures. You will find Eric Soders in the operating theater, undergoing a pre-surgery regenerative stem cell treatment, a highly controversial procedure yet to be approved by Japanese authorities. Yuki Yamazaki has already arrived. You'll find her in her suite or roaming the restaurant and spa areas of the hospital. Soders is scheduled to be put under soon. Let us make sure he stays that way. Good luck, 47. Hello, Mr. Reaper. As part of the service here at Gamma, your personal robe has been outfitted with a radio frequency identification chip. The device will unlock and allow access to your personal suite.
No key cards are needed at Gamma. Good evening. Forty-seven. I have intel about that bandaged patient. Well, this is quite fascinating. The bandaged patient is Jason Portman, former CEO of Quantum Leap. According to my intel, he has undergone full facial reconstruction and is scheduled for bandage removal today. And get this, he's going for the full Helmut Kruger look. <laughs> you look like the mummy. So what kind of work did you get? Nose bridge, cleft chin? Can you keep a secret? Shut up. I'm being cut to look like Helmut Kruger. Yeah. Helmut Kruger? The model? Yeah, yeah, the one and only. I mean, you know, the resemblance was always there. People always used to tell me, I mean, you know that. They, they would tell me, hey, you look just like Helmut Kruger, and I'm like, shut up. But here I am, just sort of fulfilling a prophecy, I guess. I'm about to go meet my surgeon for a checkup, and I cannot wait to see what I look like underneath. But you're Jason Portman. The new face of Silicon Valley, Modem, called you the golden brain. <laughs> Your stock is soaring. How will people react if you suddenly look like someone else? Shut up, you'll see. Hmm. <laughs> Once the bandages come off, it's almost time. Full body graft, muscle implants. Why wait for months or years when surgeons and endless amounts of money that I have can make it happen in weeks? Screw the natural way. That's the... Oh. Shut up, I bet you would. Maybe I'll call you when I get back to L.A. Okay, we'll see. Bye, Stacy. Gonna nail that. Shut up, Helm... No. Wait, you're not Helmut. Hey, bad form, dude. You stole my idea. Hey, look, asshole. Maybe you can find can someone else to emulate. How about, uh, I don't know, Jordan Cross? He's hot, right? Fantastic. Wow, this is super fish. embarrassing. I hope the new uh, at the least we don't attend the same oh, social the circles. <laughs> and that new yoga instructor? Shut up, we um, don't, right? Brooke, was it? I've, I've got connections. So I, I can make you disappear for it, good. Masculine and powerful. Come on, come on, come on. What's that doctor doing? Can't wait around all day for this. Jason Portman. What the hell? Try the spa. So are you doing yoga? Just one. I have two lectures. Mr. Jason Portman, please come to the hospital entrance. Well, it certainly appears that Yuki Yamazaki is a fan of yoga. A schedule near the hot springs reveals that she has booked the trainer all day. Feeling flexible, 47? Talk to the instructor. A doctor will escort you to your checkup. A doctor will escort you to your appointment. I mean, Please proceed to the hospital them. entrance. What kind of behavior is that? I would like to Man, thought I heard something. Checking it out, over. Oh, come the fuck on.
messing with the thermostat. No yogis this way, sir. Please, meditate somewhere else. Thank you. Miss Yamazaki, I believe you booked time for a yoga lesson? Yes. To be honest, I was beginning to wonder if you're ever going to show. Glad you're here. If you will just follow me. Well done, 47. Now to make her spirit and body fly. I'm ready to begin. Miss Yamazaki. Very well. Let's begin. Let us begin with Upward Facing Dog when you're ready. Fluid movement. Very good. Now, transition into Lord of the Dance. Remember to breathe throughout. Warrior two pose. Core, strength. Stay there for a while. Changing sides. Be strong. And finally, tree pose. This one is tricky. Find a good spot for it. Target down. Now it's time for Sodas to retire. Mr. Portman, perfect timing. Follow me to the consultation room, if you please. You must be eager to see the new you. Gentlemen, Mr. Portman is with me. No need Hi. to bother him with unnecessary security measures. You're in good hands, Mr. Portman. Gama is such an incredible place. The medical facilities are beyond anything I've ever seen in the world. Well, with the exception of perhaps Kronstadt HQ or Ether's R&D facility in Johannesburg. We've got a new yoga instructor here, JB. Boy, he can stretch like a rubber band. Never seen anything quite like it. If you're feeling sore and the meds aren't doing it for you, you should really go see him. So, facial surgery? Tends to heal pretty quickly. But I understand yours was quite extensive. Don't worry, though. We've got the best facilities here. You'll get those bandages off in no time at all. Hey, buddy. Okay, Mr. Portman, your surgeon is in here. He should be ready for your checkup. Have a nice day. Mr. Portman, thank you for waiting. If you can just sit down for a moment, I'll get started right away. So, let's have a look at you, Mr. Portman. I'll be still as I remove the bandages. Oh. Oh, my. It's... It's, it's astonishing. Not only are you 
the spitting image of Helmut Kruger. The, the swelling has completely subsided and there's not a trace of bruising. If I didn't know any better, I'd, I'd say you'd never undergone surgery. It's, it's perfect. It's simply perfect. I'm, I'm sorry. This is, uh, this is very emotional for me. I have intel regarding the pilot. Sir, are you going through or just... I managed to gather intel from the hospital's security system. The chief surgeon, Nicholas Laurent, seems to have frequent rendezvous with the helicopter pilot near the remote personnel exit. And rumor has it that the chief surgeon suffers from trembling hands. Digging around. Come on. whatever they say here. <laughs> Hi there. Nails, I uh, need another pill. The effect is waning. This way, Doc. I'll show you where my stash is. Hey, I get it. You're not an errand boy. Lead the way. Surgery is probably the toughest thing on you. Yeah, which is well, but you've got the autopilot to help you. It's just my hands and my brain. Hell of a thing. Here we are. Help yourself. Thanks, Nails. You're a champion. Easy does it, Doc. Well done, 47. This should provide you with the means to get close to sodas. That is Eric Sodas. Former training director at the ICA. Regrettable. How are you, Doctor? of death. Human error. We lost him.
Miss Burnwood. That's not what my ticket says. We received your message. Loud and clear, I might add. Honestly, you could have just sacked the poor guy. I didn't catch your name. No, you didn't. There'll be no retaliation, not for Soders, nor any other recent fiascos. Someone's been meddling in our affairs, killing our operatives, and making the ICE look like fools. I think you got close to that someone, closer than we've ever been. That's why we're hiring you to take him down. I don't think so. Don't rattle our cages, Miss Burnwood. You really have no idea. You spy on us, bribe our people, and you have the gall to demand our help. No. You can't be trusted. Even so, we've been around for a long, long time. I think we could help each other. Some 20 years ago, your agency took in a young man with no past and extraordinary skills. In his own special way, he cares about you and vice versa. And ever since that time, you've never stopped wondering where he came from and who made him what he is. There was a doctor, some depraved experiment, but he's gone now. Ah. Well, if you believe the questions died with him, we have nothing further to discuss. If not, as I said, I think we could help each other. Partners, then. Cheer up, Miss Burnwood. We... We are the lesser evil. This terrorist. He wants nothing but chaos. He's only a terrorist if you win. Miss Burnwood, we won a long time ago. This... This is maintenance.